It is Carabao Cup final time. Hello there, welcome back to the channel for part 10 of my FM23 beta save here with Leicester City. Hope you're enjoying the series so far guys, we have the Carabao Cup final in today's video. Make sure you leave a like if you enjoy it and do subscribe to the channel if you are new of course. Since you were last here, we've played two games both in the Premier League. Uh, away from home against Aston Villa, you can see I've added the goal scorers to this now. And um, Talis Magno opened the scoring. Ollie Watkins did get a goal late on to cancel us out. And Yao Pedro got the only goal in the 1 0 win recently against Wolves. That does leave us fifth in the table. Now we have played the same amount of games as both Man City, Arsenal, and Spurs. Well, that's the same as all three of them, I should say. But Man City do play Spurs as we are facing Arsenal in the Carabao Cup final. So, depending on what happens there, could um, change things. Because Spurs still have a game in hand on us. If they win that game against Man City, they go above us. But Man, but then Man City are catchable there as well. Arsenal are only a point ahead of us. Chelsea in 7th, recently lost 5-0 to Newcastle. Yeah. And Eddie Howe's been sacked as well, by the way. Yeah. Just thought I'd let you know. Anyway, enough of the Premier League for now. Focus is on one thing, and that is the Carabao Cup final. Here against Arsenal, like I said, Spurs are playing Man City in the Premier League, but that isn't important right now. What is important is that we go and try our absolute best to win this game. So, for the Carabao Cup final here against Arsenal, we are going with Alte in goal. Thomas de Vrij, still not looked it up. Silva and Castagna at the back. And Didi, Dewsbury Hall and Heydara in midfield. Yao Pedro and Madison and Vardy up front. We do have options on the bench. We have Gil, Daka, Danilo, Magno, Pereira. Hero against um, Man City in the Premier League, which we won't talk about because it's Carabao Cup. Let's do this. Come on. I haven't got my sound on. Um, if you are a... Um if you are from like, overseas, or anywhere else in Europe other than England, then um, you wouldn't know. You probably wouldn't know this, but we've just had around my area anyway huge storms, uh, thunderstorms, lightning, a lot of rain, and it was constant for about an hour. So uh, yeah, this is still Sunday as I'm recording this, by the way. So my weekend off has been filled with making Football Manager videos. <coughs> Which reminds me, I need to check on the progress of my 50 years in the future video. As we have a highlight here, it's currently got 8 views and 3 likes, which I guess isn't too bad. Right now, it is with Arsenal, 4 minutes on the clock. Castagna passes it to Gabriel, I mean, why not? Castagna likes passing to the opposition. And Silva, what's he going to do? He whacks it forward. So, can he get it to Vardy? Not quite, but Madison. Madison gives it away to Arsenal. That, that's fine. I, again, we see this a lot. I mean, I see this a lot in my team. Gabriel Jesus. Oh, my Lord. Did I hit the bar? It did hit the bar. And he, him. Right, it's now in Didi. Phew, phew. <laughs> uh, we'll let that highlight fizzle out there. That is absolutely fine. 15 minutes on the clock. Arsenal are the only ones who threaten at the goal at the minute. Uh, we have a highlight coming here. Arsenal corner. Odegaard whips it in. It is cleared there by Silva. Only as far as Saka can... I mean, Madison can't win that, unfortunately. It's with Odegaard and Martinelli. Kicks it over. 20 minutes on the clock. We've not created anything ourselves yet. We should really be going positive in this game, shouldn't we? <clears throat> 30 minutes on the clock. We managed our first shot on goal. Okay, we had a little um, blip there. I don't know. It was just a bit of interference for some reason. Okay, so we've had a few more shots. Neither team has had a shot on target yet. And we're at half time. It is nil-nil. Quite boring so far, I must be said. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, we will berate them a little bit, saying it's just not good enough. We haven't even had a shot on target. I mean, we have now, which is good. But there are options on the bench. Uh, Luke Thomas has definitely improved as a player over the last, over the over this this season, and we are very fortunate not to be one 0 down there. Caught napping at the back from that corner, from that set piece. 
Right, I think it's time we made our first change now. Now, I do want to bring Danilo on at some point. I think I want to bring Magno on as well. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to swap Madison over to the left. Now, I'm going to bring Magno on for Yao Pedro. I also want to bring Pereira on for Castagna. So opening two changes, is it going to make any difference? I sure hope it does. 15 minutes to go. We have a pause in play, right? Okay, so it's with the Arsenal defence. It'll be our party. Zinchenko, a beautiful tackle there by Dewsbury Hall. Vardy gets it to Madison. What can Madison do? He has a shot, gives the ball away. It's a bit of a scramble there, but Madison on the ball here. Madison shoots. Oh... That was a very good effort. Very good effort indeed. I'm kind of regretting taking um, Yal Pedro off now. You know what? I don't really want to take Vardy off yet. Um, I think I'll bring Justin on because Thomas is a bit fatigued. Right, we'll do that and work the ball into the box. Right, Arsenal have the ball here. Saka, Zinchenko, Saliba. And that is a goal. That is a goal. We had a little pause there. There was no sound for the crowd reaction or anything. I certainly didn't hear anything, but Arsenal have gone 1-0 up. And um, this isn't good. Right, we're going to bring Gill on for Madison and Danilo on for uh, Wilfred and Didi. Can we get anything else in this? Oh, there's seconds left of this game. Can we sneak something here? Real heads it across. And it's a goal kick to Arsenal. Looks like Arsenal have won the Carabao Cup. And they have. Sadly, we go down in our first final of the series. Arsenal, I think, over the course of the 90 minutes, did deserve the win. We're not going to watch the Cup celebrations because... Uh, yeah, I'm a little bit deflated by that. It wasn't the best performance. <clears throat> but now we um, focus moves on back to the Premier League. The um, Tottenham Man City game ended 2 1 to City. So Spurs have now played the same amount of games and now behind us still, which is good. Uh, we're on level. Uh, level games with Arsenal and they're a point ahead so top four is still not out of reach I'm a little bit disappointed about that Carabao Cup final it's understandable of course because we got there through yeah I'm a little oh Goose Hiddink is the man who took over from Gareth Southgate because you know, in episode six when I said that Gareth Southgate got sacked after uh, England didn't even qualify for the knockouts they didn't even get through the group stage and uh, Goose Hiddink took over as manager. Fair enough. So now we move on, now we move on to West Ham. Well, after the disappointment of the Carabao Cup final, we're here now against West Ham in the Premier League. Focus does go back to the Premier League, of course. So uh, pretty much the same team. Gil comes in for Yao Pedro, who drops to the bench. And Magno replaces Madison. He's just a little bit fatigued, so we're uh, going to leave him out at the starting lineup. I'm hoping we can go on and win this game. It'd be nice if we could just bounce back straight away with a win. Or at the very least, avoid defeat. Uh, to keep in our keep... Our chances of top four qualification alive. I mean, Europe is still... I think Europe's still achievable, of course. You know... Again, silly error there by Brian. And Thomas Wind now coming forward for West Ham. And Didi just gives the ball to Ben Rama through that tackle. Ben Rama... Can, and that's a good save there by Olte. Three minutes in. West Ham, slight scare. West Ham are like... Mid table. Uh, Sucic whips it forward to Ben Rama. See, again, you know, if that was one of my players, then um, we would have given the ball away then. Kept it in, but just give it away. Um, Yeah, I don't like it one bit, really. I really don't like that. 
Uh, West Ham are uh, West Ham have started very well. It looks like, and uh, he heads it away. I can't. I still can't say his name. I, at, the, at this point, I'm not really bothered. But I can't say his name. Cresswell whips it in, and it's cleared by him. And Brian manages to get the ball. Is he going to hold on to it? No, he whips it forward to absolutely nobody. But Magno has the ball here. Just gives it to Cresswell. I mean, there you go. Why not? Dawson to Zuma. He whips it forward. And all three, Thomas, him and Silva, all missed it. But it is now Brian Gill on the ball. Can he whip it in? And Magno. And it's quite close, actually. Unlucky, dude. Good effort. But uh, it looks, you know, the last few minutes we've been a bit more lively. You know, if we win this game, we actually go above Arsenal, which would be really good. be nice if we have a little bit of solace towards the end of this video. Uh, be nice if we were in the top four. And literally, 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 literally. Uh, yeah, I just, I just don't know what to say to some of this play, to be perfectly honest. We've got more than capable players. Uh, West Ham have a corner now. Probably going to be a goal. Um, I saw at the bottom there, how did he miss that? So I'm assuming it's more or less like an open goal scenario. I've had to bring James Justin on for Thomas. Thomas seems to be struggling a little bit. Uh, not happy with the finishing. Right, I think I need to, um, especially with the team talks like that, we need to be harsher on them because nothing's working at the minute in some of these games. Silver for Zabani, that is fine because Silver's a bit of a donkey sometimes. Um, what else have we got? We're going to bring Yao Pedro on for Bavardi and we'll bring Madison on for... Magno. And we'll leave it at that for now. I may end off I may end up taking Brian Gill off as well and bringing on Pereira there. A bit like what we did. Why didn't he go towards it? Magno, what the hell are you doing? You should have That was that would have been well offside. Thank you. I do, it's just I don't understand this. Right, Pereira on for Gill. Oh, Oh, I've already made three stoppages. Great. 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 Right, let's encourage. We've been crap. We have been absolute donkey today. If we can get away with a point, then I'll be satisfied. To Barney. Oh my god! What is up with this flaming team? Antonio with the ball. Ward straight, thankfully. Alte has been our pretty much our saving grace today. Right, we have a free kick. Dewsbury Hall to take this free kick. Dewsbury Hall to take. And he's hit the bar nearly. Now that was a save. The keeper actually saved it. So we've got a corner here. Dewsbury Hall to take. And uh, Fabianski easily retrieves. Uh, encourage. And added on time. We have another free kick here. Madison is headed clear straight to Lanzini. But thankfully... Oh, does he not play for Leicester? He gives the ball away. Hadara to Dewsbury Hall. Out to Madison. And uh, Johnson heads it back to Fabianski. Fabianski safely has the ball in his hands. And it's a whacked right up the field. So Barney gives it away almost, but Yao Pedro with the ball. James Madison, no, Madison gives it away. That's it. So Madison gives it away. It's with Lanzini now. Ben Rama now for West Ham. Here's where we're going to concede. Phew. Oh, that is, you know what? I had a feeling that was coming because Dewsbury Hall is literally one of the only players that we can rely on at the minute. 
Adara, come on, don't screw this up now. Come on, we've gone past the four minutes, for Christ's sake. Just blow the whistle now. Why concede that corner, you donkey? Lanzini with the corner, and it's over. Sucic. We've gone down to ten men because of this... Sh because we had more than three stoppages. So we couldn't sub off Dewsbury Hall. But I hope... I hope that is not a bad injury because he's one of our best players. Um, we're going to have to berate them because, you know, it was a nil-nil. We got a point, which we really didn't deserve. We'll send the assistant to that. But we remain in fifth place. Seven points clear at Chelsea. Haven't played the same amount of games. And Newcastle in eighth. I don't know why the other European spot has disappeared. But uh, I'm sure it will come back. Uh, thankfully, he's only out for a couple of days. That is fine. Now then. Now we're only down to the Premier League. Uh, we'll probably go on and play a few games. Uh, we'll probably come back and play Bournemouth. I think we'll probably do two more episodes this season. So we'll probably come back in the next video and play Bournemouth and Spurs. And then we'll just come back and play Forrest and Everton on the last uh, episode of the season. And we'll just go from there. But um, fifth in the league. We got a bit of money. A bit more money. We do. Projection. Again, it's looking absolutely awful. Uh, but this, I think this is mainly down to the debts. And transfer budget wise, I haven't really... Yeah, there'll be a little bit of transfer money coming out in the summers and stuff. But other than that, I don't think I've really overspent. But um, I guess we'll see like what kind of budgets we get come the summer and stuff. Because um, I'm assuming we'll get more than this. We, we'll probably get more than this. Uh, depending on where we finish as well. If we finish in the top four, then we'll probably get a bit more money. But um, if we finish in the top... I mean, top six is still absolutely fine. I'd be mean, more than fine with that. So we move on. So yeah, we have, uh, what is it, Bournemouth and Spurs coming up tomorrow. So I will see you then. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, drop a like, hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you again very, very soon. Ciao for now.